In this video, we're walking through the ProPresenter Remote app, a powerful way to control your presentations right from your mobile device. Whether you're backstage, on stage, or just away from your computer, the ProPresenter Remote app puts presentation control in the palm of your hand. Once connected, ProPresenter Remote opens up to the Presentation tab. This is your main control center, where you can browse presentations and trigger slides directly. At the top of the Presentation tab, you can switch between two key views. Library View shows all of your presentations stored in your ProPresenter libraries, and the Playlist View lets you expand any playlist to see its contents. Just tap on a playlist item to open it, then tap on any slide or the Play button for media to send it to your ProPresenter output. Need to make adjustments to what you're seeing? Tap the three-dot menu in the top right corner of the screen to switch between Grid View and List View. Enable Follow Presentation. This feature sets the active presentation to always be visible on your remote, whether you are controlling the service or not. You can also adjust your slide thumbnail size with a simple slider. If you're a presenter and you just want a super simple way to move through slides without digging into all of the features, the Remote tab is a perfect option. In the Remote tab, you'll see the current active slide, the next slide in the queue, and any slide notes for the active slide. To advance, just tap or swipe to the next slide. That's it, no distractions, just clean, simple control. In Remote View, you can tap the three-dot menu to turn on the ability to move to the next presentation in your library or playlist, hide the clear options, or show slide notes. You can also lock the remote, which further simplifies the interface by removing the clear button and the menu at the bottom of the window until you unlock the remote again. This is great if you want to hand a device to a presenter without having to worry that they'll accidentally trigger a macro mid service. Speaking of clear, you can tap the eraser icon in the bottom right corner to open clear options in either mode. You'll see options to clear audio, messages, props, announcements, slides, media, live video, and custom clear groups. To see clear groups specifically, tap the layers icon at the bottom of that menu. Across the bottom of the app, you'll find navigation tabs, and these are customizable. Here's what each of the bottom tab options do. Timers, start, stop, or reset any timers you've set up in ProPresenter. You can tap on any timer to change its type, duration, or overrun behavior. Messages trigger pre-built message templates, and if a message includes a timer, you can adjust that here too. More is where the deeper functionality lives. Audio Bin lets you play and control audio tracks, Stage Layouts lets you choose active stage screen layouts and toggle stage messages. Props will show or hide visual props by simply tapping on them. Looks changes your active audience screen look. Macros trigger any pre-built macros you've already configured, and Settings lets you adjust basic app settings for the ProPresenter Remote app itself. To edit which tabs appear at the bottom versus the More menu, just go to the More tab, tap Edit, then drag items to where you want them. Any tab marked orange can be swapped in. So whether you're running a show from backstage or giving a talk on stage, the ProPresent Remote app gives you powerful control right from your phone or tablet. It's easy to set up, intuitive to use, and a total game changer for live production. Download now in the App Store or Google Play. Thanks for watching.